Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Devil May Cry. We're so close to the end now, mission 21. Mission 21, Living Cave. Alright, now I went and farmed a whole crap load of red orbs as you can see. <laughs> it took a while. That's one blue orb. Two blue orb and that's all of them. One purple orb, two purple orb, that's all of them. And I'll spend the rest on the other orbs because that'll help me out next mission. 97 red orbs left over. Yeah, I didn't bother recording at this time because it was, honestly, it was so boring. You wouldn't want to watch that, trust me. Okay, got everything we need from the shop. Living cave. Pulsate the heart and open the last gate. Pulsate the what? Okay. This is where you start to realise just how creepy the underworld is. Gotta hold your water right off the bat. And look at that. Yeah. Alright, so first off. Which one is it? This one? Yep. The final secret mission of the game. Hidden bangle. Find the hidden bangle that resides in the secret corridor. Alright. So, final secret mission. I'm gonna run faster because I'm bored. Long corridor. There we go, nobody. Oops. I'm trying to get behind him. And there is a full blue orb, frag uh, blue orb, no fragments, just a blue orb. That's the final bit of health in the game. We have full health. You're alone, nobody. When they're alone, you can ram up the ass with a sword over and over and over, <laughs> and they die. Could be a bit of a pain getting behind them though. Gotta wait for them to explode. Thank you. Okay. Move on. Yep, look at our health. Two full bars and ten rooms of Devil Trigger. I like having nobody's alone like this because then you can screw with them. You can't turn around or do anything. I think the stingers are stronger than the high times. I think the sting is a better to use. If you can throw in high times every now and then though, to help get your stole meter up to stylish. Get the most orbs you can out of it. Right, am I going the right way? I think so. I always get turned around in here. These creepy ass tunnels. I can hear another nobody. Look how they run up eggs. I don't know what they are. They're pretty gross though. It's got an egg. There we go. Aha! I've got you now. Shut the sword up your ass. I can get my meat to stylish. Ooh, no. He got away from me. Should laugh at me. <laughs> yes, they could be extremely annoying to melee head on. As you can see. Bastard. Yeah, you die. Everyone die. Thank you. Alright, he dropped health, that's good. Alright, remember the dragon from mission 17? There's another one. This one doesn't spit balls at you though, it just spits fire, so you can't reflect it. So you gotta beat him up with your sword because your guns don't do anything. So, wait for him to spew fire. That 
actually you want to get breathe on. It does look like a more like a T-Rex, doesn't it? It's a T-Rex, man. It's a fire-breathing T-Rex. Fire-breathing T-Rex skeleton and frosts. Switch, 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 switch. There we go. Right, try not to get slaughtered by the frosts. The frosts are good at doing that. There's actually going to be four frosts here, so only two at once, but don't do that. Another one's going to spawn there. There's only ever two at one time, but there's going to be four in total. Just on DMD mode, naturally. Ooh, that was close. I nearly bought it. Creepy eye platform. Thank you, I really needed that health. And an orb fountain here. I might as well vortex. Vortex! Oh. Ah, fuck it. Keep going past. That's nah, gone. Cool. Alright, you can actually skip. Uh, the dragon and the frosts. Just by jumping across. There's several different ways of doing that. But, uh, why would I skip a dragon? Or a T-Rex? Whatever the hell it is. Why would I skip that? I want to kill it. Okay, creepy eye platform. Don't know why there's a second one there. I do know why there's a second one there. Because we have to keep going. And there's our prize. Bangle of Time. A mysterious wristband that has the power to stop time. Yes, that's an interesting item. Uh, Kinda useless at this point in the game. Uh, you can only use it on normal enemies, not bosses. So it's really for if you're replaying, if you're doing a continued file. Now, anyway, this is the only way we can go. But it's actually continue on with the mission. Yeah, the Bangle of Time. Uh, I'm gonna try to use it. Maybe in this mission. Yeah. It's a big, big door. Might as well jump over here and show you. Yeah. It's a heart. So yeah, this place is extremely creepy. <laughs> That's a creepy door. I'm sorry, but that is a creepy door. At least we can go through it now. So let's go back and go through it. There's nothing else to do in that room currently. It's a statue of time if you need it. Let's go. They've still got doors of flesh. Oop, nobody's. Could use some health. Hopefully I can shove a sword up his ass. Oh, I forgot about these things. Oh, I hate these things. Maybe even you know I really do. Good. These things are draining us. Oh, that worked pretty well. Caught him unawares. Drop some health for me. Now I might use the Bangle of Time on the next nobody. Because the Bangle of Time actually works off of your trigger meter. Kind of like the Nightmare Beta. And just like Nightmare Beta, it makes it more of something you would want to play around with on Super Dante mode. Okay, we 
which way am I going? This way? Alright, let's try out this banger of time. Trigger meter's running out. Oh, he reacted pretty damn quick, didn't he? There's nobody to not be taken lightly. Ooh, all's reaching for me. Okay, something I haven't shown yet. What the hell was that? That was a mouth coming from the floor to eat me. Oh crap, which way was I going? I may have gotten turned around. Ooh! No, I haven't gotten turned around. There's more of these horrible things. Oops. And that doesn't affect those, sadly. That's a bit of a rip-off. Bangle does not affect those. Right, I'm nearly dead, so I'm gonna go the safe way. I shall go with Ifrit. And the Bengal of Time actually replaces your Devil Trigger while you have it on. So I'm going to turn it off. Will you take off the Bengal? Yes. I will take off the Bengal. Yeah, definitely something to play around with in a super darn team. Doesn't work on bosses. So at this point in the game, you can use it on a few enemies and that's it. <laughs> Thankfully with a continued file, you get to keep it. Oh, with the mouths that come up, they they come up if you stand in one spot too long. But for some reason, if you hold the R1 trigger, they won't pop up. That's interesting, thing. Alright, next area. Here we have some plasmas in bat form. I just can't see him currently. Oh, I could die very easy here. I'm hoping they'll land here. Oh. Did I kill them? I think I did. I killed them. <laughs> oh yeah, that lava hurts, so I'm not gonna jump in it. That would be a good idea. Dial. When you see a dial, you must light it up. Platforms out of nowhere. You can actually skip a lot of these platforms if you've got air hike. So the game isn't designed around you having to have air hike. That's only the secrets. Which is a good move to do, I think. Considering how expensive freaking air hike is. Thank you. I can actually skip this platform, I think. Yeah, I can. I don't want to take any chances. I've got a tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny sliver of health left. That's lava down there. I do not like lava. Alright. This dial must do something important. Yeah. So this whole place gives you the feeling of being inside of a huge creature. Especially the, uh, the music adds to it. Every now and then there's this kind of wail in the music. So it sounds like a wail actually. Huge door. Let's go through it. And that is the end of the mission. And that's that. Holy shit, look at my clear time. <laughs> that's uh, taking into account my farming, I do believe. I did not know it did that. But 
apparently it does. And they're still going to nest rank, so... Whoopee. Yeah. Something to do with it, doing the secret missions excuses your time when it comes to rankings for some reason. I definitely don't need that anymore, so I shall replace it. Alright. Two missions to go. This mission was a little un uneventful, but gross. Next mission is not, I assure you. It's very epic. Um, there's big fights, there's surprises, there's drama. I hope you'll join me for mission 22.